So the 2017 Fall Creative Discipleship. Man, I'm really excited about getting started on this in the next coming weeks. Um, this session uh, is very unique. Well, I guess every session is unique. It has its own flavor, its own voice, you know. And, uh, but this particular session, uh, I'm excited for us to go through it. And I'm excited for us to, to walk together in it. And uh, what's going to happen is this. So we, we want to take the next 16 weeks to develop uh, our voice, to develop our hearing and our voice. As creatives, um, that's what we do. We are communicators. We are those uh, who have a message entrusted to us, a burning message. And as artists, as musicians, as poets, writers, dancers, photographers, painters, bloggers, whatever gift you have, we are communicators in our day of this eternal message. And so over the next few months, we're going to take time to study the creative process through spiritual eyes. It's going to help you in your creativity, uh, being more effective and being more um, uh, efficient at producing things and speaking things of the kingdom. And it's also going to be great for your own personal enrichment. Um, so we're going to look at this idea, uh, looking at the creative process through spiritual eyes. You know, many of us have great ideas. Many of us have thoughts and things we want to do. And some get done, some don't get done. And the process we're going to look at is basically the hearing and perceiving of things, the refining or the processing and producing of those things, and then the uh, presentation or the proclamation. Of those things and what I mean is this uh, hearing from God hearing and perceiving what God is saying to us not only us personally but us uh, as we pray about our city our neighbors our school our workplace just his word um, when we approach our craft whether we're a writer or an artist or a photographer when you approach your craft what things do you want to communicate what, how can you unveil the very mysteries of God through your creativity? So we're asking the Lord those things. And through that process of listening, silence, hearing and perceiving what the Lord is saying, then moving on from that to refining what we hear and producing something. You know, it's one thing to hear something or perceive something from the Lord, but then to refine those things, to make sure that it's his words and not our words. And how can we tell a God idea from just our good ideas, you know, or our bad ideas even. And so re refining or processing those things we hear and then producing something. Many times from the, the processing to the producing is this chasm that never gets crossed. And we have ideas and concepts that we never get done or finished. So how do we go from this refining and processing to actually producing something. And moving on from there, how do we then, once we've produced something, present, some, present it, present it or proclaim it, bring it to the world? You know, there's many artists with great um, paintings sitting in their closet. There's many writers with uh, great novels and stories on their computer. And so it's not enough to just hear. It's not enough just to create uh, and finish, but we also need to uh, present it proclaim these things. So we want to get into this process of, of hearing, processing, producing, and proclaiming. Yeah, The things that we hear in our day to our generation. And personally, we talk about it just with being active in evangelism. The greatest evangelistic method is actually just an inflow that overflows, that creates an outflow everywhere you go. And so as we look at these things, not only are you going to be creatively um, uh, uh, inspired and become more efficient at getting the things of God out, hearing, uh, refining, producing, and proclaiming it. But also, it's, it'll be great personal enrichment just on hearing the Lord. Man, when you, when you begin to see and hear Him through everything more clearly, man, your prayer life becomes more effective, your work life, everything about your life uh, becomes much more um, blessed and much more efficient because you you're you're not left thinking is this the lord is is this not the lord 
uh, you begin to hear more clearly, see him, recognize when he's speaking and how to move in faith. So I'm really excited about this coming season. Um, and of course, through this uh, information, we have content online uh, that we've produced that we'll be following and tracking with. We'll have uh, monthly meetings or weekly meetings rather uh, that we get together to discuss it and share it. There's monthly outreaches, uh, a couple, at least a couple each month that you can jump in on and be a part to really activate these things. Um, we have other activation sessions like just taking time to hear and listen and log what God is saying and then actually take that to actually build out a concept or produce a concept, uh, whatever it is, a short film, a short story, a uh, painting, a drawing, a dance, something so that you can then present it or, or bring it forward, you know? And so uh, we're going we're, we're, we're gonna to go through all that together. And uh, I'm real excited about that. So uh, at the end of the year, we're December 2nd, the end of this time, we'll have a... Uh, a team trip that we're going to Miami Art Basel. Uh, if you haven't been there, it's just mind-boggling. We'll take that trip together. And actually, we have a kind of a, a, a year-end outreach that we're doing in West Orlando, uh, a street art festival that we'll, we'll all be participating in. So anyway, I'm really excited about this session, this phase. Um, I'm sure you're going to grow. I'm sure you're going to be challenged. I'm sure you're going to begin to hear and, and feel like you're moving more fluid as we get into this. So real awesome, real awesome. I'm excited. I believe it's so many people need this. So many people need creative discipleship. Uh, we have spiritual on just our Christianity and we have technical training at schools, but we don't have this marriage of creative discipleship, which marries our spiritual principles with our technical skills and really helps us become effective ministers. And uh, I believe this is what's uh, going to happen from this time together.